The M5 is probably one of the cheapest, simplest and best heating controllers you can buy. You'll see loads of them advertised on Amazon and eBay under various brand names and ranging in price from under £13 to over £35. But I'm convinced they all come from the same manufacturer, Xiamen Atfinger Technology in China. On unwrapping the thermostat, my first puzzle was how to open the M5 to get at the fixing screws. There's no mention of it in the instructions. What you have to do is to carefully insert a screwdriver under the adjusting knob and very gently prise upwards until the knob comes free. Simple once you know how. The next stage is to undo the screw there and you can then lift that part away to reveal the in, inner workings. Be careful of this little adjusting knob. That can easily get lost. You don't have to worry about which way it goes in. You can sort that out later on. It can, if needs be, be adjusted with a small screwdriver, but that comes in handy once you've done the fitting. So to reassemble, we'll assume this is ready to go on the wall. You drop that part in there, put your mounting screws through onto the wall socket, add the surround there, put the control knob into place, then drop this part into position, insert the screw, and tighten up. For the time being, leave the knob off until you've got the adjustment correct. The underfloor heating system I bought came with expensive and complex multi-programmable thermostats. But for my elderly sister, these were impossible to understand and use. With the M5, you either set it and forget it, or simply adjust it on a daily basis to suit your needs. The underfloor temperature is measured by this sensor which is supplied with a 3 meter lead to connect it to the thermostat. This lead can be extended by up to 50 meters if required. The sensor needs to be taped in position prior to fitting the flooring. Put it somewhere accessible just in case you need to access it at any point in the future. Even better, run it through a flexible pipe so that you can extract it easily if it ever goes wrong. Also, make sure the bulb on the end is no closer than 50 millimeters to any of the heating wires. The wiring is very straightforward. The incoming power goes to terminals one and two and the supply to the heating mats is from terminals three and four. Note the maximum load printed on the case. Finally, the sensor connects to terminals six and seven and the wires can be either way round. Terminal five is unused and no earthing is required. The thermostat needs to be wall mounted well away from sources of heat, such as sunlight, with ample airflow around but not drafts from windows and doors. You can calibrate the thermostat by connecting the sensor wires to a multimeter. This can be done using the underfloor sensor, or another way is to tape a spare sensor to the floor as I've done here. This will give you the exact reading on the floor surface. You can also calibrate with an ordinary room thermometer, but this might result in the floor getting too hot. Most flooring companies set a maximum temperature of around 27 degrees. Here's a warning from one manufacturer's website. A chart supplied in the instructions gives the temperature based on the resistance reading. I put together a spreadsheet that gave me degree by degree readings. 9.9 .9 here is 26 degrees centigrade. With a small screwdriver, Turn the adjuster slowly clockwise until the red indicator light comes on. Wait until the heating reaches the set temperature and the light goes out, then replace the dial to match the temperature shown on the multimeter. To prevent overheating, the M5 has adjustable locks 
to restrict maximum and minimum temperatures. I personally not discussed anything about laying the floors and heating elements themselves because the internet is awash with such instruction. I hope you found the rest of this video helpful. Once you've planned it all out, the actual job of laying the flooring and the heating elements is really quite straightforward. I wish you luck, and if you have any queries, just make a comment below.